Hello guys, it is Thankful Graphics here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom filter in Photoshop. So today we've got this Battlefield 4 screenshot that I'm going to make a filter for. So what I did is opened a new layer with the same resolution, uh, new project with the same resolution. And so now I'm going to select the gradient tool which is located here. If you see a paint bucket tool, just hold it down and you'll see the gradient tool. Okay, so we're going to go to the gradient editor and we're going to make a new gradient. So what you do is you double click these bottom ones here to make a new, uh, to change the color. So I'm going to go for an orangey tingish one. So I'm just going to get that orange and get sort of a warm tint going on. So I'm just going to, so I'm going to, I'm going to click there and I'll make a new one. A new little tab thing that I can put a color in. So I'm going to just go for a bit of a darker orange. So now I've got this sort of gradient happening here. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to grab this angle one here. And so that's located next to the gradient editor. I'm going to get an angle, make a new layer, and just drag up. So you see my um, opacity is down a bit for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. Anyway, so my opacity is down. I'm just going to Keep doing it until my opacity is up. This shouldn't be a problem for you. I just haven't been. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. So opacity 100. Yeah. So I've got this happening here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to distort in the filter menu and go polar coordinates. So if we go over here, you'll see you'll have your selection here, but it'll look a bit different due to the um, options you select here. So I'm going to go polar to rectangular, and then I'm going to distort again. But this time, I'm going to use Ripple. Once again, I'll zoom my other monitor, I'm sorry. I'm just going to make a slight little ripple. I'm also going to just give it a little bit of a Gaussian blur. Just enough to make it all fade together. And just keep doing this until you are happy with it. Another technique we can use is if we make a new layer and we grab whatever colors that you're tinting with. So I'm just going to do a sort of browny orange and a greenish yellow. And I'm going to go to filter, then render, then clouds. So now we've got this little smoke screen here. What we can do is we can either go to linear dodge, which makes it a bit bloomy, or what I like to use is overlay, which makes it a bit like that. So I'm just going to dim that down a bit. So that gives it a sort of smoky effect. Okay. And let's just add a couple more um, little things to spice this up. So let's just select this layer again. And let's just distort it with some other stuff. Sphere as and just, just going to do that. And let's get this one with some polar coordinates. Okay, so now we've got this cool little filter thing happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to select both layers by holding Command or Control depending on if you're on Windows or Mac. And we're going to press Control or Command E. So that merges both layers together. What we can also do is, now what we're going to do is select Control A or you can just grab the uh, little rectangular marquee tool up here and just drag the whole length of the canvas. So what we're going to do is just Control C. Now we're going to go to our base picture that we're putting the gradient on, uh, the filter on. What we're going to do is just paste that there. Now we go to these little layer styles here and we're going to go to Q. As you see this has given it a nice orange filter which changed all the HUD and all that to orange. But the, if you do not want your HUD to be changed colour, you can always just Get the pen tool and zoom in on where you want it, where you don't want the uh, thingamajig filter, and just select all around it. Right click, make selection, press enter, and then go to your layer, get rid of that, and press delete, which will give you, make your HUD a different color, and all that fun jazz. So as you can see in the corner, it is the same color in the map. 
so this was my first video for thankful graphics i will see you guys later hope you enjoyed this video i hope you helped please subscribe leave a like and even comment if you had any troubles with this tutorial and i'll see you all later